Uh, now let's head over to the Beko kitchen to find out what a chimichurri sauce is. I thought it was those things you, you bought on the side of the road that were like donuts. Curious. Oh, they, oh that's a different thing altogether. What's a chimichurri? <laughs> Have you been listening to anything I've said over the last three years? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I have. That's no, so it's I a have. sauce. Okay. It's, uh, it's made so, up so of? It's, uh, so lots of herbs, lots of spices, there's a little bit of chilli in there, mm -hmm. some dried herbs. We're going to grate some tomato in there as well, so it's going to give us right. a real fresh sort of uh, loose sauce, perfect with the lamb. Got lots of parsley in there, we're going to put lots of mint through it as well, because yeah. we've got the lamb as well. Beautiful lamb rumps here, so really lean, really nice cut of meat. I'm going to show you how to cook those nice and perfect, rest them and slice them so it's nice and pink. So really... Um, Fast, simple recipe, perfect for the barbecue at the weekend. Brilliant. Can't wait to get stuck into that. We'll see how to get the full recipe very soon. It's great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. We've got lamb on the menu, Mark. Absolutely love lamb. And that looks like a beautiful cut. Why have you chosen rump today? Oh, it's great. It's a, it's a really meaty cut. You know, it's mm. very lean. If you want, you can do the rump cap, so you've got the nice fat cap on there, but right. this, these ones have been taken off. Nice. So really lean. You know, it's a nice piece of meat, but it's not too thick, so it's going to cook really fast. Mm, beautiful. I love it. I do love a little bit of lamb. Okay, cool. So we're going to get going. Pans on, heating up. Right, pans on, heating up. We're just going to put a little bit of olive oil on these and season it on the plate, and then we're going to uh, cook it in the pan. We're going to sear it off. Oh, yeah, and lamb's one of those really tricky things to cook, isn't it? A little bit. You can't do it for too long, but you can't do yeah, it so too Yeah, so you want to treat it like... Um, a bit like beef, really. Okay. You know, so we want to get a nice colour on the outside. That'll give us some flavour. Um, cook it in the oven. Cook it to your liking. You know, you can have it rare, medium rare, medium well, well done. Um, and then take it out, let it rest before right. you slice it. And then, as we were talking about last week, slice it across the grain. Okay. Okay, so don't overcrowd your pan, so that's fine. So two in there is really good. Give it a little seasoning on the other side. Mm -hmm. Got a nice um, hot pan there. I'm going to turn it down slightly and you can just keep an eye on that. I noticed you didn't put the uh, seasoned side down first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. That's how you should do it. Someone's like, oh, season and then do I flip and season? But no, season and then. And then you it. get more seasoning in there. Yeah. Right, so what we want to do now, yes. we're going to make the uh, chimichurri. Okay. So we've got some, got some ingredients here. So a little bit of um, chilli flakes yep. go in there. Um, some uh, dried oregano. Yep. A little bit of paprika. Paprika. It goes in there. Paprika is just about everything nowadays, isn't it? Pinch it, yeah. It's the, uh, the on-trend on -trend powder. A little bit of sugar goes in there. And I've got some cumin seeds. Okay, so you're I'm just going to grind them, them up a little yep. bit, just release all the flavours. Right, you have a look at that lamb. Okay. So, beautiful. So, nice, nice caramelisation. Yep. Yeah, flip it over. You need to season again, or are we done? No, with no, that? no. No, we can do that. We can. Uh, we'll sit. We'll wait for seasoning when we slice it. Now that's oh, fine. Okay. Um, so it's quite thick. So I'm going to get a nice colour on the other side. At this stage, you could chuck it in the oven if you wanted. Your pan. Right. And then you could just probably because it's going to take about maybe 10 to 12 minutes, uh, or maybe about eight to 10 minutes. So uh, you could probably flip it over halfway through cooking. Oh, okay. Or you could get a really good colour on both sides. Take it out onto a tray and then put it into a preheated oven. No, you, you caught up with that um, Heston Blumenfeld recently, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was really interesting because I heard him talking about cooking meat and in particular... How he burgers. Yeah, 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 and he, like, kept flicking every, the steak backwards and forwards. Every 30 seconds, so he doesn't get any colour on it as such. He just right. keeps keeps doing it, and it, so it just slowly cooks, goes all the way through, and then keeps it nice and uh, moist. OK, there you go. That's how I like to cook my steak, too, so I was right all along. <laughs> OK, so now right. we're crushing some garlic. A little bit of garlic, we'll crush that up, just so half the garlic... It's going to go in the chimichurri. It's going to go in there. I've got some red wine vinegar. You can pour that in. Okay, nice. So a nice bit of acidity in there. Okay. Hopefully that sugar's going to Garlic goes in there. Wine. Yeah, that's it. So just stirring it till it all sort of dissolves. Put some olive oil in there. So you want, you know, the olive oil will just sort of balance all that. Um, Ooh, uh, nice. The acidity of the uh, vinegar. Yeah, it smells good again, doesn't it? Right, got some spring onion, so we're just nice. going to slice that, put it in. So it's quite a, a rustic, chunky one. You know, you can do it all by hand if you want, um, cut it up, or you could just throw it all in a blender if you wanted. Oh, yeah. You know, okay. and just sort of blend it. But do recommend just pulse it. You know, you want a bit of texture in there. Right. <laughs> So yeah, make it like a smooth. Face. Yeah, don't, don't make it like a yeah, like a soup or something. Keep it rustic. -y. 
Yeah. Okay, nice. And that's it, and it's going to give us some texture. So spring onion goes in there, and then I'm going to put lots of mint and lots of um, parsley in there. But you can do this with any herbs you want, really. There you go. So I'm going to chop these, and we'll come back and finish it. So when we left, uh, Mark, before, you were about ready to put some parsley yeah, in so there. Yeah, so I've chopped some parsley, so that's yep. gone in there. Okay. I've um, got a few more ingredients to pop in here. Okay, so we've got nice. some mint. Oh, yeah, so I can chop smell that. Mint. So lots of fresh mint. You know, beautiful with lamb. Well, and lamb and mint, yeah, hand in hand, don't they? Beautiful. You know, so it's going to give it a nice freshness there. And then get a tomato, put it in half, and then we just grate it. Oh, well, grating tomatoes is quite unusual, isn't it? Yeah, something different. I like to mix it up, please. Well, you see what you get in there. You get that texture, you get that freshness of the tomato. Okay. And that a little bit of acidity as well, just to cut through it. You know, tomatoes and lamb as well, that's another uh, classic combination. So just finish in there, don't put your skin in. Okay. But you just, just put one tomato in there, you know, just really livens it up. Right, so you can see here the lamb, so that's been uh, seared in the pan and then I just put that in the oven, just roasted. Oh, that's looking good. Um, put it out onto a plate, let it rest, um, and then in the same pan, you know, you can warm that back up. Yeah. And then I've just got some uh, peppers. Okay, while well, you chop on the peppers, how long has this been resting for? Just quietly. So that's probably just come out of the oven like a couple of minutes ago. Okay. So we're still going to need to let that rest there. Oh, another like three or four minutes. Um, you know, so you've got a little bit of oil still in there. That's fine for the peppers. So you're just going to char them. Bit of if it needs, it needs a little bit more oil, just put like a tiny splash of uh, olive oil in. That's really good. Okay. You can give that a light season. Sure can, chef. The other uh, half of the garlic clove, what we uh, we put half in the chimichurri, yep. the other half. Just going to slice up, that can go in with the peppers now. You know, this is a really, really fast uh, recipe. Yeah, I do like it. So you can see using the same pan, you've got all those flavours for the lamb as well, which has been roasting in there. That's going to go into the peppers. The lamb's resting. And we'll just finish off the chimichurri. Could you, if you don't use all your chimichurri, could you... Uh, oh, you could stick this in the fridge and you could use yeah, it. Okay. You could use it over the next sort of day or two. Yeah. But it has got red wine vinegar in, so it has got acidity in there. Okay. So, you know, maybe the next day you probably get away with it. Right. Maybe the other day, but it will, with the acidity, will uh, turn the herbs brown. Did you use any other sort of meat? Like, could you do anything. Okay, there you go. Good sauce this, to make. Happy? This is like a meat sauce. Oh, this is great. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to give this food and try it. It's like a meat sauce. This will go with anything and fish. Yeah, and vegetables. Okay. Oh, yum. Mm. Well, how good is that? You know, it's the taste of summer right there. You know, oh, right. perfect for the barbecue. You know, you can make this a couple of hours ahead of time. It's just going to get more and more flavour. And it's quite refreshing with that parsley. You get oh. those little hits of parsley. Brilliant. Like, Ooh, the yeah, parsley good. refreshes mm. it. The mint goes well with it. You know, you can put any herbs in there. Basil would be really nice. Um, nice. You've got your meat, you know, you can grill all your meat on the barbecue, and then what we're going to do now... Uh, so, no, and I want you to show us this. So, how do we know that that's ready? Is it the old poke test? Well, yeah, so we, so we poked it. So, I mean, it's quite thick, so in the centre it's going to be quite... It's going to be a little bit probably under pink. OK. But it's quite nice, you know, it's quite nice to have rare meat with this sauce. OK. There's something yeah. about it, something manly about it, where you've got to really chew your meat. <laughs> <laughs> is it still... Is it, not, is it still vegan week, is it? <laughs> no, month? that was last week. Oh, lucky. that's great, then. Um, Right, and then, and then to let it rest, so this bit rested about five minutes. So you can see all these juices here just yeah. coming off from the meat. You know, don't throw them away because there's lots of flavour in there. Pop them in there. Okay. You know, all about keeping the flavour. You can see we've got a nice bit of colour on the pepper. Right it's in. nice and crunchy. That, you know, that's enough. We're going to make a little bed of that. And you can see the grain. You can see how the meat sort of runs this way. Yep. Right, so you want to cut across the grain. Across, so we're going to cut okay, so across cut like the that. Grain, cut across. And you, and you see that there. You know, you can see the meat sort of like in tiny little pieces. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good, That's actually. Going off I thought the it might have been a bit rare for me. Never too rare. Look at that. It's just cutting it like this. Does it tenderise it a little more? Yeah, and well? if you cut it nice and thin as well, if you cut it across the grain, it's going to be tender. If you rest it, it's going to be tender. And if you do it in nice thin strips, it's just going to be brilliant. A little bit more salt, and then we'll just put lashings and lashings of the chimichurri on top after. Mm. And that is it. You know? Okay, now I would so just quick. eat that by itself. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> if you're at home trying to impress somebody, what would you serve that with? Um, a bottle of beer. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean you could eat salad maybe. Yeah, you, you could do a nice Potatoes. salad there. Yeah, you could. Yeah. It depends how depends how much you want to do and how heavy you want to do it. Right. I mean, you've got a nice fresh sauce there. That's almost like a salad in a sauce. You've got a nice piece of meat. You know, you're just keeping it nice and simple. You know, this is 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 it good? You're supposed to be watching that. You know, this 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 is how the South Americans eat. You know, mm. this is it's it's brilliant. It's all about the meat, good quality meat, fresh, beautiful chimichurri, oh. and a little bit of vegetables there.
Okay, nice. That is brilliant, me, and I can't wait to try it with, of course, that chimichurri sauce. So we'll do that a little later on. Okay, if you like this recipe to make at home, the recipe and full ingredients list is on our website. This lamb looks and wow. tastes delicious because I've already had a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pleased you managed to save some for the rest of us. Um, what are you cooking tomorrow, Mark? Right, tomorrow I finally got the Latino chef's pie.